what's good everybody it is delightful storm and as you guys can see by the title yes i am big we all know that i mean everybody knows that by now i have been on this app for a while um not consistent but we know what it is blase blase tons of stuff going on but yeah right now is the time where i'm in the head space I don't know if I should do like leading up to like why I've gained so much weight and why I am at this stage in my life right now. I don't know if you guys care if I'm being honest, but maybe people would care as you guys start seeing my exercise videos. Y'all would like to like see where I started out at and why I started this journey and stuff. So I guess I'll give you a little bit of a rundown and post as many pictures as I can in order for y'all to see. And then I'm going to do, I'm in these little raggedy clothes right now, but I'm going to do um, a little like show, showing how my body is right now um, after I done explained everything. And then yeah, so let's get into the video. I don't know what my exact weight is right now because I haven't been weighing in. Um, I don't have a good uh, thing to weigh right now. I don't. What is it called? Whatever it's called. I, I don't know why I'm blanking right now, but I don't have one of those. We have like three, but they don't work. Like you could tell because they've gone in and out. We just got to get a good one at that point so I can weigh myself or just go to the doctor's whatever i decide to do um these little things trying to pop out but yeah i don't know my exact weight right now um but um i'm not at my heaviest anymore i have lost weight so right now is in like one of the one of the weeks where i've been consistently working out and i have lost weight but i'm gonna show you guys like previous photos and stuff of me with the weight like at my heaviest and then i'm gonna show you guys now so i'm not gonna say i know exactly when it started or like when everything started for me to start to gain as much weight as i have been um because during that time which i probably let me show it right now this was me at my heaviest um now let me show you let me tell you guys how this happened so well how my mindset and stuff was for me getting to the stage and the only reason i'm doing that is because i feel like if i i started watching things to like that i related to that i understood like oh my emotions are affecting me in this way i feel like i would and then i watched them like over time get through that and start to get their life together type thing and their health together um it'll help it would have helped me a lot during those times where i was really like in those modes so i'd say okay starting to start off it started off i'd say 2020 i say 2020 um it started i think before the actual um pandemic but it just gradually got worse over time so in 2020 if i can get a photo up i'm gonna have a photo up i'm gonna try to place it right here of whatever weight i was in 2020 i don't remember the specific weight but i know that i was at a manageable manageable weight because i had just came from valdosta state um i used to go to valdosta state if you didn't know and then i came to georgia state um which is where i feel like a lot of things started when i was at valdosta state i was by myself well not really by myself because i was with friends and stuff but i was living 
like taking care of myself i was responsible for me and me only so i can focus on myself like i was focusing on myself i was exercising me and my best friend were exercising we were trying to eat right even though i gained some weight but not crazy weight um i was still like uh i was still a bbw i was like thick or whatever but i was not like as much fat as i have on my stomach right now um and i gauge things by my stomach because of the fact that my stomach is literally my problem area my legs they get bigger too but they don't get huge like my stomach does. like when i'm smaller and i'm gonna try to show you guys the photos of me even before 2020 just so y'all could understand that i've never been this weight before like i can show you like my high school photos and um i was small i didn't think i was small so i'm i'm gonna get into this a little bit later but during that time i didn't even think i was small but i was small or i was slim i wasn't skinny i was never skinny but i was slim so during that time i was slim um and then i gradually i mean at first i was more weight but i still wasn't big and then i lost weight to where I was my swallows, which I think was like 140 something, 145 probably. And then I gained weight again in 2020. Well, I gained weight still before then. I know this is so freaking like out of order, but I gained weight before then, but it was never crazy because I was managing it by exercising and taking care of myself at Valdez State. When I came back to Georgia State, I was living home with my parents and uh my family don't really have like super healthy eating styles and stuff like that um which i'm not blaming it on them at all because honestly i was putting it in my mouth for one for two i could have at any moment decided to do the stuff that i'm doing right now um but i chose not to um i feel like let's go from the beginning i'm gonna put on put little letters up there say the beginning so beginning 2020 um i started at georgia state i was just commuting so i wasn't living on campus um during that time a lot of stuff was happening um that i think that's when i've got my first car um and i was in a relationship at that time and it was just a lot of hectic things happening so on top of being stressed out by school i was also having to worry about how i'm going to commute to school because well this was before i got my car okay <sighs> let me think about it because i didn't plan out this video i'm kind of just coming on here because i wanted to do this before i started tomorrow which is monday um i've been going to the gym for a while but before i start tomorrow actually filming my journey i wanted to start this video of me explaining what happened and stuff like that so beginning 2020 i was commuting on a bus um back and forth because my mom couldn't always take me and i didn't have a car at that moment so um i had to worry about paying for that which is not a ton of money but it's enough to be like an extra bill um and i was also doing school i was dealing with like anger problems i was dealing with depression i was dealing with just so many things overall things that i don't even want to get into um and at that moment i remember specifically literally in my head in in my head because i think a lot like i know y'all probably can tell if y'all watched me for a while or if y'all are new hey guys um hi i am selena so or delightful storm so um i think a lot and my brain goes everywhere which is why i'm going everywhere right now but so essentially 
um literally during that time i did not care about myself too much i cut my hair off um sometimes i do just cut my hair off just because i'm frustrated and i want to cut it off i don't know maybe i am crazy maybe i am i don't know but during that time i just i cut my hair off and i was just ready i was ready to um be freed from things even though i didn't free myself so i was really just stuck i felt stuck in that mode i'm so tired of this shirt like it's bothering me because i have two k's on it right now because i literally just took a shower and brushed my teeth but that's neither here or there i'm gonna show you guys anyways my stomach and stuff so um i was depressed upside and i literally told myself i said i really don't care no more like i'm just gonna eat what i want to eat i'm gonna eat as much as i want to eat like it doesn't matter to me i literally said that um so i was just letting myself go completely and i have never been to the point where like i was eating bad but i've never been to the point where i was like binge eating like constantly eating something i'm hungry i'm hungry hungry i need to eat i was never like that um i was more just eating big unhealthy meals um when i was younger and then as i got older it kind of got settled and i was eating healthier and stuff and then during this time it was just crazy like binge eating type things bro like literally right now i couldn't even eat the amount of stuff that i was eating back then like crazy to me but yeah i was really eating a lot and it didn't matter that i was walking around campus like i'm i feel like i'm a pretty when i want to be i'm a pretty active person i can definitely walk for 30 minutes or more maybe even an hour or so and be perfectly fine I, I would do that i would walk fast i would like i would keep up the pace maybe not as fast as some people but i i can do it and i would not be i would not like i would be tired but i would never stop because it was never tired to the point where i'm like i have to sit down like i'm out of breath i'd be good so i was walking around campus and if you know georgia state campus you know it's smack dab in the middle of like uh downtown atlanta and you could be walking for maybe 15 minutes 10 minutes across campus to go to different classes depending on which class you have so i was walking plus i always had to walk all the way back to the train station get on the train station and sometimes i'd walk i would have to walk home off of the bus once i get off the bus um which is about 30 minutes walk so i was doing that but i was still gaining weight because of the fact that well actually if i think about it i really wasn't getting that much weight during that that specific time frame because i was still maintaining that that little mark i was still at 200 but when i'm at 200 i don't look i don't look big at 200 like specifically 200 i don't look big i don't like i'm i'm pretty like shapely at 200 um yeah so i'd be good but yeah so um i was good during that time i was still i still had some weight to me but i wasn't overweight so then it get it got into the next stage which is I'm gonna show you another picture if I can, if I can get in between the in between times um, of me being small and then at my biggest, a bit of me being in the middle of my biggest in 200. So, yeah, I think I could get that picture. During that time, that's when I got my first car, I believe. Or my second car either one um i don't really know the full timeline i just know i got bigger and i know i took pictures throughout those times because i was kind of ashamed of myself and just it was like a back and forth of me hating my body 
and me also not really liking myself or the situation that I'm in. So I still eat it too much, even though I know my body's wrong and I would still lay there and be like, I'll do it. I'll do it the next week, but I'll do it the next week. But to me, I just didn't care enough to do it, to get up and do it. So it was like that back and forth in my mind where I knew I didn't like myself and then just made it worse. So, um, yeah. So I was just gaining weight. I was eating out a lot. I ate a lot of fast food because we would go out a lot to dip various things. I would just eat, 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 pick up something and then go do something else type thing so i wasn't really i wasn't really laying down too much but i think the things that we were doing were just not enough for me to lose the amount of calories that i was putting into my body so during that time i started to gradually gain weight and then i realized that my clothes were not fitting me the same But I did the worst thing that I could possibly do once I had, once my clothes started to not fit me the same and like jeans started to not look the same on me and stuff like that. Then instead of saying, okay, this is getting dangerous. I'm starting to gain too much weight. My stomach is not fitting inside of these jeans that I usually wear. Like instead of doing that and then saying I had to gain control of my health I decided to start getting more leggings more comfy fitting clothes more baggy pants more baggy shirts like including this big old shirt like I started to get bigger things which I know people say is it's okay your body is getting is is getting bigger it's okay to get a little bit of weight and uh, get you some comfy pants and stuff that fit you but clearly that did not help me because all it did was allow me to have way more room to add on more pounds and not even really realize that my body was getting the way it was after a while i'd say once it hit ending 2020 going into 2021 after a while, I just was not even paying attention to my weight because I knew I was big. I knew I was. I just would not pay attention to my body. I'm going to put on the clothes. I'm not even going to try to get cute. Throw on some baggy pants, throw on a baggy shirt. Maybe fix my hair a little bit. But during that time, I wasn't really fixing my hair like that. I wasn't even taking care of my hair too much like that because my hair was short kind of just washed it and put some conditioner in it um that's all I was doing so like and I know this may be kind of this is embarrassing all of this is embarrassing all of it honestly so I shouldn't just be sitting here acting like blase blase I wasn't even washing my face enough I wasn't cleaning my room enough I wasn't like it was just so many things because of so many situations i just was not happy i was angry i was yelling a lot i was irritable and i feel like they went hand in hand with each other it was me eating unhealthily so that causes um different hormonal reactions and different things to happen my body to feel heavy and all these other things and then that turns into me getting more upset having more anger towards things that shouldn't even have power like it was hand in hand it was going crazy um and then i realized and i still don't do nothing about it but then I realized once I got bigger that well let me just say this a lot of people even though people would understand I mean would think like okay you should understand you're getting bigger realize about 
I understood when my clothes wasn't fitting, but I feel like I do have a form of body dysmorphia. When I looked in that mirror, sometimes I would not see big. Sometimes I would see big, and that's the times where I felt bad about myself. Sometimes I would not see big, and I would be fooling myself. Like, girl, you're big. You are. Like, stop playing. And I had to look sideways at myself. You know they ain't gonna wear you big. So, all of that was happening during that time. And what was I, what was I about to say? I was gonna say something, but I, I got off topic because I was talking about how big I was. <laughs> I still am big, but I'm not as big as I was. And I'm proud of that right now. But, um, <laughs> during that time, oh, when I realized I was the biggest, okay, I had technical difficulties, but anyway, when I realized I was like huge was when I would literally get out of breath trying to walk things that I was so used to walking, like, ew why are you out of breath right now that's what be getting me no no something why was i really allowing myself to basically be killing myself like, i don't i don't understand why i did it to myself because i should have just been like how i am now where i work out even if i'm sad about something that's what makes me feel good is even if i take that long old walk that be like be out there for at least an hour because it like I usually just walk towards where that bus stop is which is about 30 minutes and then I walk back so that's about 60 minutes walk that's an hour walk that I do when I'm even upset because that's good you, I just be looking at the scenery having my music and daydreaming doing whatever I want to do like it's that simple I could have been walking away from all the crash shit that I was going through could have been walking away like oh i'm annoyed walk away i'm exercising like lose 300 some calories off of that but anyways that's what i do now and i'm gonna um i might just make another video on all of the things that i actually do to lose weight um and then do my journey but right now i'm just going through this whole thing of what my journey is over there then oh and another thing was me just feeling so freaking heavy like if y'all don't know by now i got some big to tell you so i would literally be laying down and getting choked by these dang on galapagoses in the corner just because i was like that heavy y'all mm -mm -mm. couldn't do no more close to you guys what my heaviest weight was because i remember my heaviest weight was 270 bro 270 i was literally almost 300 pounds i was closer to 300 pounds than i was to 200 pounds and that is saying a lot because i really let myself go and um y'all might not see that much of a difference right now but i can feel the difference even in my clothes that i wear um and i know the difference by my body of how much weight i've lost it might not be a ton a ton of pounds but i know that i'm getting to where i want to be right now and I definitely don't want to be back at 270. That's what I know. So, um, I got at my heaviest in 2021. Um, was still staying like that until towards, I'd say, the ending. Yeah, the ending of 2021, I started exercising at Georgia State because they have a free gym for college students. Um, back then when i first got started going to georgia state i didn't feel comfortable enough to 
she texted me. I did not feel comfortable enough to take time out to exercise and go to classes and then come home. I just didn't feel comfortable enough to do that. I don't know why. I feel like I was just not in that headspace. I didn't know much about the area. I just wanted to go to classes and then back. Yeah, so I wasn't doing that. But then during that time in 2021, I started exercising again. Um, then I was losing a good amount of weight. Um, I can't remember how many pounds, y'all. I really don't be looking at the, the the thing that much. But that's when I was losing the most weight. Um, until now. Um, cause I kept on just going to the gym, and results for me don't really show too much until because of how my body is, is typically shaped. I don't feel like it shows that much until I actually lose a ton of weight like a lot um because my stomach is typically just ugh. when it, and i feel like y'all seen it because i i showed you the two pictures when i'm smaller i have i mean i have hips right so when i'm smaller and i might just show you side to side just so y'all can see when i'm smaller um my hips come out the most right compared to my stomach because my stomach then can get smaller than my hips my hips are just gonna always be hips type right but when i'm bigger my stomach like protrudes so much that it kind of flaps over and i have like a muffin top so it doesn't really show how small i am i mean or how much weight i'm losing until that flap decides that it wants to come in and it comes in very dramatically and fast once i lose that weight and i notice because i'm somebody who loses weight gains weight loses weight gains weight. um but never this much i've never been 270 before <laughs> like during that time but i'm somebody who's gained weight lose weight gain weight lose weight so i know how it is when i have a bigger muffin top and I know how it is when I have a small, smaller stomach and my hips protrude out more. So, um, then, I mean, of course, 2021 was right there. It was around the corner. So, I was training with somebody. I was with the trainer. And I liked what he gave me. Um, but I feel like right now... I genuinely want to do my own thing um, because the, the stuff that he had, it was great, but I didn't feel like it was fully tailored to, to my body, you know? All right, so y'all, um, I actually had some technical difficulties. I was basically explaining, um, you know, how it was with my trainer or whatever. So I'm just going to be doing my own thing now. Um, and then in this next clip, I just, um, I don't remember what I was talking about before then, but, um, I'm starting to end it off in this next clip, um, and just showing you guys how my stomach looks now and my progress from before. So, yeah. Okay, so y'all, let me transition this downwards. Let's fix this. Ignore that thing in the corner. It's kind of leaning, but anyway. If y'all don't know me by now, ignore all this other stuff. That's my bad. If y'all don't know me by now, I'm not ashamed of showing off my body because I feel like that's a good thing to do for people who need to see like what different body looks like at different sizes type thing, all of that. But if y'all can tell, so this is where I'm at now. I've lost some weight. Um, I was much bigger um but yeah so right now this thing will not let me be great but anyways let me up and do this basically it's going over still i still got fat that goes over in the back fat that goes over in the front and fat that goes over on the sides that was just a quick rundown let's hurry up in this video because my storage keep on going in and out right i don't have no time for this let me fix this oh it won't let me be great today 
but yeah so i still got stuff to work on i've lost weight i'm going to show you guys my journey this was just an intro <laughs>